Hi everybody, Lori here. Today I'm excited to be joining Laura from Making Cards is Fun. I'm Laura, but I'm also joining a Laura. It's a great name, yes. For her 10,000 YouTube subscriber video hop. This card I'm making is using a new adorable stamp set that just came out for Stamp Timber by Simon's Stamp. It's called um, Secret Garden. So I'm stamping several of the images. I use in my mini Misty so I can stamp them all at once. And then, you know, with image heavy stamp sets, basically what you do is you color them and you slap them on a card. <laughs> so it's not any groundbreaking technique I'm doing here. I'm coloring with my Copics. Of course, there's many mediums you could use to color these in if you wanted to do watercolor, if you wanted to ziggy ziggy ziggies. Uh, what are all the other ink blending? I don't know if you could color these tiny little images with ink blending, but you know, if there's a way, if there's a will, there's a way. Uh, I recently bought some of those Prismacolor color pencils and I, I've been wanting to try that. Have you seen how, so you gotta look this, this is so cool. Um, this is the reason I bought the color pencils. Um, they do them on craft cardstock and it looks amazing. So that would be an idea, you could stamp these images on craft cardstock and then use your Prismacolor color pencil. Something I do want to try in the future. So anyway, uh, wasn't sure what I wanted, you know, colors to use. So what I always do, I Google, I Google gnomes, gnome cartoon, then I Google gnome home. And as you can see, the gnome home is a mushroom. Duh. But uh, I didn't realize it. I don't know why I overlooked the most obvious things. But I had so many red mushrooms going on. Well, not so many, but I had two. So I didn't want to make the gnome home with a red roof as well. I just felt like that'd be too much red. So I made a brown mushroom gnome home. And then, so we got the two little adorable red uh, spotty mushrooms. This is so fun. I love these kind of secret garden fairy vibe thing. I think it's really popular right now. And um, as you can see, I sped this up really fast. My Copic coloring is a slow turtle speed. So I always feel like I'm boring people, although it does give me a time to blab. Okay, moving on to the assembly. I'm taking one of the nested circle dies and I'm cutting out a window. This is gonna be a shaker, because I thought of Laura. If you know anything about Laura, she makes a lot of shakers. She's, I love her shakers, and I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll do a shaker in honor of Laura. So uh, I'm using one of the, uh, in my window, I'm using a sentiment stamping. I hope your day is magical. That's part of the secret garden as well. And then now I'm gonna adhere some acetate on the back side of my panel. I'm using a little bit, um, is that score tape? That's what I'm using. I like that better than glue. Glue equals oozy mess. On your fingertips, then it gets on the acetate. And then mama's angry. Hangry. I'm hungry and I'm angry, so I'm hangry. And then you get your sequins all ready to go pick out your colors, what you want. These are all pretty pink posh. I tried to pick some in coordinating colors with the images. So we get the reds, the yellows, the greens, and then a lot of the tiny little sparkling clear, which just fills up a shaker and makes it all festive and whatnot. Okay, so last thing to do is just pop up your little images. So I want to put my little gnome home right in the center of that archy sentiment, then the, the gnome and the fairy and the little mushroom. And then Last but not least, that tiny little snail. That would be me on the card. I'm the snail. <laughs> and then I'm kind of loving doing this now. I take my jelly roll. I have the Signa White gel pen, but I got to say, I kind of like this jelly roll better. And I do a few little highlights here and there, and I also color in any imperfections. If I color outside the line with my Copics, I fix it with a white gel pen. And that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your hop. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.